Gracious. Warm. Modest. Self-effacing. Calm. A dream. I would say gentle. You know, he's so considerate of others. But demanding. Incredibly lovely, warm, friendly person. That lovely, open face and uh, bright countenance. A very friendly person, but who, who is unflappable. Courageous, joyful. Masterful, uh, craftsman, uh, artist. There's so many words. <laughs> his total commitment to wonderful music making. His openness and his fearlessness. He is so beautifully prepared. Smart, savvy, strategic. Collegial. He's a genius. And without any uh, pretense. He inspires love. It's been one of the great pleasures of my life to work with Alan Harler. There's just no finer person out there in my view. Everything that he does is comes from a place of joy and uh, of love for the music and for the arts. He can inspire those the singers and others around him to do their best from a real place of integrity and kind of honesty, mutual respect for, for the love of music. He's very collegial with all his, all his collaborators, with the chorus, with the orchestra, soloists. It's amazing. It's all about the music. It's all about working together. When I think about working with him, I just have this like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for our conversation. I'm, I feel joyful. Alan would come to me with, a, with an idea or a project or you know, a program, and it would be this big. And then I'd say, OK, Alan, let's pare that down a little bit <laughs> into, into bites we can swallow. He pretends, he claims to know nothing about budgets or about uh, how boards should work, but he is really smart when it comes to how boards should work and, and even the finances. Every time he would come to meet with us as a group, he had this battered old green file folder that he had scribbled across it in marker that said, we take risks. And that's Alan Harler in a nutshell. He takes risks. The growth in the in Mendelssohn Pub over these last 20 some years has just been uh, uh, phenomenal. Mendelssohn Club had a name and Mendelssohn Club had a reputation uh, before Alan came on the scene. But Mendelssohn Club never had an identity until Alan came here. We all know that part of his legacy is this wanting to demonstrate that, that in order for classical music to stay alive, we must perform the great masterworks that we all love to perform. But at the same time, we have to keep pushing the envelope. And the fact that he's been able to balance those two things and, and is now known for that, I think is, is pretty special. His interest in both the traditional and the contemporary and, and commissioning new works and, and as far as experimental and letting you know our collaborative work together where he, he, it's okay to have the singers be moving through space and taking those risks is really unique in the field. Not only commissioning and performing new music, but finding perfectly wonderful places to sing it in that nobody else had been in and finding the music that would really suit that space. That gets neglected so often and it's just a lovely characteristic of his, of thinking the whole experience for people. The way that he would think about possibility, he wanted to open up the audience to new sounds, new things. This became the new normal for the Mendelssohn Club. People wanted to come and hear what was hot off the press. And Alan had a unique way of opening people up to that so that they were excited about it and they wanted to be immersed in it. I came into Mendelssohn Club expecting to sing the great masterworks from the Choral Canon. The very first program that we did was a piece of new commissioned music and I thought, what is this? I didn't even know how to begin to start singing it. But as Alan took us through it, it became more and more part of my DNA so that at the performance I felt truly immersed in this work and it was all because of Alan and the way he approaches introducing singers to new music and making them comfortable with it. He's leaving behind a strong advocacy for contemporary music. 
um, which is so important, the music of our day that speaks to who we are, where we are, what we're thinking about, and the members of the Mendelssohn Club have been um, privy to all of these premieres, you know, birthing all of these new pieces that they get to carry forward in their own lives. He's had such an impact on choral music through through teaching at Temple, through just the singers in the chorus. When you think over the years how many singers have gone through Mendelssohn Club or his choruses at Temple or as choral conductors him, the, themselves, um, you know, his impact is goes beyond Mendelssohn Club. I mean, it go, it, he it has impacted the entire field. The board started the Alan Harlan New Ventures Fund in 2007 to build a fund from which we could draw a small amount of money each year to, to try some adventurous programming. The New Ventures Fund uh, is, I think, uh, uniquely conceived uh, and uh, is uh, uh, clearly uh, a, a major part of the legacy of Alan Harler to the Mendelssohn Club of Philadelphia. He was very pleased when we wanted to start that fund and I'm just delighted that that will live long long after him and we want to continue to to build that that fund so it will be there forever. I hope you keep keep contact and I hope we can see you from time to time and just that you just won't fade off into the woodwork. I know that this is not the end of your musical journey. I know that our paths will cross again. You always had a new project coming up, and we would always discuss the pros and cons, and I, would, I was always hoping to get included in it in some way, and I always loved it whenever it worked out. Alan, you inspire me to no end, and I know that this is the, your retiring, but that doesn't mean the end of your creative life, and I look forward to all the future collaborations coming up. And you are so special, and I love you, Alan. Thank you for an absolutely amazing, wonderful 27 years with you. I've learned so much. I hope that you will continue to make that wonderful expertise of yours available to people in whatever ways uh, interest you. The work that we've done together, the pieces that we have manifested together in collaboration have been the high point of my musical life and I'm so very grateful. You have been a life-changing force in our community for choral music, I think in the world, but I just have to say you changed my life and it means so much to me that I was able to sing with you for 12 years. My first executive director position was with you, and I couldn't have asked for a better, a better companion, a better partner, and I just, I wish you the best. You have been a gift to all of us, to the city of Philadelphia, to the world of choral music, and all we can do is just thank you from the bottom of our hearts.